Hello and welcome to my review of the Venari Star Shard Ballista for Lumineth Realm Lords for Warhammer The Age of Sigmar from Games Workshop. Now one of these models will cost you £37 and consists of 47 plastic components and a whopping 80mm round base. Format of this review is as usual. Uh, I will have a look at the model up close, uh, look at all the detail and things. Then I'll give you some size comparisons with other Lumineth models. And finally, at the end, we'll go through all of the rules. So, in terms of this model, it is expensive. And at present, in 2024, uh, when I'm recording this in June, it is out of stock. And there's quite a few Lumineth Realm Lords models out of stock, which is just... Well, not good enough, really, for Games Workshop. Um, you know, this is one of the main ranges. Uh, they should be in stock all the time, but there's quite a lot of their uh, products in this range that are out of stock. Makes me wonder if they're, you know, there's something wrong with manufacturing or maybe, you know, they don't sell as well, that it is worth bumping up the production of them. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, but it doesn't bode well if you yourself want to pick up one of these. And it's a very nice model. Um, when I first saw this, I thought, that's incredible. Uh, great big giant ballista, or Dave ballista, as I call it. Uh, and I would love to have a couple more in the collection. Um, definitely. Um, it's nice to have some kind of like artillery missile uh, piece in, uh, in your, your army. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So let's... Uh, have a look now in terms of the box um you have got a couple of options you can have one of the archers or ballista operators uh, holding onto this messenger hawk um and not even aiming down the ballista or anything like that and then you can have this one kind of pointing with a with a lamp um i went for a bit of both so i went for uh the operator holding one of the boats or the, the loader, I guess. Um, and then I went for uh, the, the Ballista Firer actually holding on to the Messenger Hawk at the same time. I'm not sure whether you're supposed to do that, um, but I have. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, the, yeah, uh, let's have a little look at this miniature. Now, I haven't glued the uh, loader on just because I wanna hold uh, her and um, hold her uh, and sort of paint her like separate um, put her on some blue tack and cork and then just paint her. also there's a bit of a mold on that I've just uh, realized and um, just easier to do that instead of like gluing her in there and then trying to get the brush around and you know at least this way these things aren't too difficult to brush um, but yeah it's it's a tricky one isn't it um, you know what to glue what not to glue but still be able to uh, you know paint this one um, but the ballista looks great. Um, you know, it's got one of the shields on the front. It's got this huge quiver that's on a stand. Um, mental. Very, very nice. Uh, and the falcon looks good too. Yeah, it's just a nice model. Um, you know, I'd love to see see some more. What is missing? I like these sort of like shield things or lanterns around around them. I'd like to see more like grass and things, but you can add them. Uh, there's a little bit off of that lantern, but you can add, you know, tufts of grass and things around like they have uh, when they've they've uh, completed uh, the miniature. But uh, yeah, she is completely drunk. Um, and I probably just destroyed that hawk off there. Might have to whip out the old glue soon. Um, but yeah, she just does not stand up like by herself at all. The The, the feet are just so so thin i think she's on her tiptoes as well which doesn't help sort of placing her right let's get on to these size comparisons then so um we'll pick some tall models first of all so here is a uh banner blade um very very tall but you know if you have one of these surrounded by three ballistas uh yeah that looks great it's drawing a lot of attention to your artillery but still uh, then you've got severeth a fair bit taller I just want to put a wind charger there again taller so you know it's not the tallest of of models it's going to get swamped by a lot of the second wave um 
Lumineth minis. Um, but yeah, this is why having them like in a group of two or a group of three uh, would be best compared to like a Blade Lord, I guess. Blade Lord is still similar sort of height. Um, and then compared to some 40K miniatures, so we have um, Primaris, Space Marine, and Sly Marbo. Um, you can see that Space Marine is taller than those. And I think Sly Marbo is similar sort of height. Okay, so this is my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Venari Ballista. So let's start off with the points cost. Uh, one of these ballistas uh, will cost you 100 points on the nose. So straight away, no 110, 120, it's just 100 points per artillery piece. And the battlefield rolled is artillery. So the stat line of these Venari Star Shard ballistas, it's movement of six inches, save of five plus, bravery six, and five wounds. A unit of Venari Star Shard Ballistas has any number of models, each armed with Star Shard bolts and arming swords. So, Star Shard bolts, it's a missile weapon, and it's a range of 30 inches, two attacks, three plus to hit, three plus to wound, minus two to render damage, D3. Very nice. You know, it's 30 inch range. Pretty rare that you're gonna get many missile weapons in Age of Sigmar that are that range really it would have been nice for two plus to hit two plus to wound but you know three plus to hit three plus to wound it's you know and rending minus two damage d3 is good though uh, the arming swords are melee weapons they're a range of one inch two attacks three plus to hit four plus to wound no rend damage one they're a bit pants abilities blinding bolts once per battle when you pick this unit to shoot you can say that it will fire its blinding bolts if you do so units that are hit by an attack made by this unit that that phase are dazzled until the end of the turn. Subtract one from hit rolls for a unit that is dazzled. A unit cannot be dazzled more than once per turn. That's great because anything that has a similar range, uh, sort of 30 inches, is gonna be firing worse. Uh, Messenger Hawk. At the start of your shooting phase, you can pick one enemy unit within 24 inches of a friendly Lumineth Realm Lord's hero uh, and pick one friendly Star Shard Ballista unit within 24 inches of that hero. If you do so, add one to hit rolls for attacks made by Star Shard Ballista's unit that target the enemy unit until the end of the phase. So that's great. You do need two things happening though. <laughs> you need uh, one enemy unit within 24 inches of a hero and you also need a Star Shard Ballista within 24 uh, inches of that hero as well. I guess that's 48 inch range, but then you're still gonna need to be in range of 30 inches with the ballista. But it's nice that you're getting one to hit rolls, so you're gonna be hitting on two plus. Warding lanterns, so the lanterns do do a job. Uh, roll a dice each time you allocate a wound or mortal wound to this unit if it is not made a move in the same turn. On a six, that wound or mortal wound is negated. In addition, add one to the attack's characteristic of this unit's star shard bolts if it has not made a move in the same turn. So that's pretty good. Um, you're getting an extra attack if it hasn't moved, so you're firing three, but also you've basically got a six plus invulnerable save. So those lanterns are pretty decent. Keywords, Order, Elf, Lumineth, Realm Lords, Venari, Star Shard, Ballistas. I think it's very, I think it's a cool model. Uh, I, I wish there was more uh, for the price. Um, I really do, considering they're like, what, 37 pounds now. Uh, but the rules are solid. Um, they're not too expensive at 100 points each. Having three of them might be a bit overkill, um, but you know, they are gonna be covering your force if you spread them out, or if you just have them in like a pair and then a single one somewhere, or just have them in a pair, dishing out four, possibly six shots a turn, and dazzling enemy units, pretty useful. They're just, of course, gonna be very, very vulnerable and squidgy, anything gets in range uh, of melee and combat with them. What do you guys think of the Venari Star Shard Ballista? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be good to hear from you. Thank you for watching, Techless Protects.